What is up you guys? It's your girl Chanel Janae from Around the Way. Hey hey! And in today's video, ooh. Hey hey! Hey hey! Hey hey! <clears throat> what is up you guys? It's your girl Chanel Janae from Around the Way. Hey hey! Daddy? What's up y'all in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a few wig hacks now I may not know a lot about a lot of things but baby when it comes to these wigs and weaves I know what I'm talking about if I'm speaking on it I know what I'm talking about okay of course I'm still learning things too but the things that I'm speaking on is things that I just know that work because I've tried it so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video and I hope that it helps you guys out. Stay tuned. The first hack that I have for you guys is the use of bobby pins. Now most wigs come with either combs or clips. Combs would be like what I'm going to show you right here where it's just a comb and you can literally comb it into your head and that will keep the wig in place. Or sometimes a wig will also have something like this and it's a snap clip. And I'm showing this gum. Let me, let me stop being rude and take this out of my mouth. I'm like... Anyway... So like what you see here, these are clips. They have little combs on them so that you can, again, like the other combs that I just showed you, you can comb them into your hair, then snap it into place, and it's really secure. I love those in wigs. Every once in a while, you will have a wig that, that won't have either one. So that's when bobby pins will come in handy. Put the pins wherever you feel the need to. I usually put a good, like, one here and one here in the back. I'll put a bobby pin here and here by my temples and I'll put like one or two here depending on how my part is you know but nothing big nothing major my second hack has to do with when your wig or weaves get greasy now this is something that happens obviously a lot our skin gets oily our hair like you see how this hair is touching my face this means that this part of my hair will most likely get oily before anything else does so that greasy thick stiff look is not cute it's one of my pet peeves it's one of my weave pet peeves feel free to click the pop-up right above me where I have made a whole video on this literally you're gonna use baby powder or you can use a dry shampoo as well but in this video I have used baby powder and it will solve all of your problems when it comes to a greasy wig so for more you know tips on that Feel free to watch that video. Now, my next hack, which is number three. Okay. <laughs> my third hack would be baby hairs. Girl. That's my favorite part right there. <laughs> like. I'm sorry, but it's my drop dead favorite part. It's my drop dead. It's my drop favorite part. You feel me? So, baby hairs, man. They save your life. They save the whole style. So, baby hairs are a good way to give a really, really natural look. Most wigs these days come with baby hairs already cut for you. If they don't, then you can always make your own baby hairs. Yeah, that is definitely a good hack that you want to learn and get down packed because it's the best part. Hack number four. Sometimes the stocking cap or whatever the, the weave is attached to is not the color of your skin. So I always suggest that you make that color this color of your skin or maybe a shade lighter a shade or two lighter than your skin because if you look at your scalp you'll see that your scalp is not darker than you it's not darker than you it's either going to be the same color as your skin or maybe a shade or two lighter so a quick hack for that is to turn your wig inside out take some 
powder foundation and use that to work magic. And I don't want to get into too much detail because I also have a video on that as well. So feel free to click this pop up above me. <laughs> and you will see how you can basically make a natural look without bleaching knives. So, hack number. Are we on five? We on five. Would be. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. I know what hack number five is. Hack number five, there are some times when you have your hair laid to the gods. Hey, hallelujah. Sometimes your wig is laid to the gods. It, it may not be sewn in. Like, I don't get my wigs sewn in. I've never had my wig sewn in. Uh, but the thing is, once you get the baby hairs popping, right? You don't always want to be so quick to take it out. So there are some nights that you may want to go to sleep in your wig. Now, you don't have to do this, but sometimes you don't want to work on them baby hairs over and over again every day. People like me got to go to work in the morning. I ain't got time to be playing around with no baby hairs every morning. So, feel free to sleep in your wig. Just be very, very careful. Number one, you want to make sure that you have something tied around your edges this will keep your edges in place I'm tying down my edges first and then what I usually do is pull my hair back in the ponytail so that's out of my way and I could go to sleep on my sides or you can take a bonnet and also put that on and tuck all of your hair in it as well and obviously what's most importantly is <laughs> That you get yourself a silk pillowcase. That will also do the job. Hack number six would be make sure when you are detangling and combing. Be sure to comb starting from the ends. Working your way up to the root. You don't want to make your wig go bald. Because then it's going to be bald number one and bald number two. Looking at the wig and looking at you. Boo. Boo. Hey, hey, my name is Chanel. How are you? I want to thank you guys for all of the views. If you don't like it, then bye boo boo. Because look, if I was you, I would hate me too. <laughs> Hack number seven has to do with washing your wigs. Now, unlike combing where I'm telling you to work your way from the bottom up, when it comes to washing, you can go ahead and make sure that you're washing downward basically when you have the shampoo going lathering up don't be so quick to do these you know how when you have your natural hair you're going like this and even doing like this that's okay on your natural hair but when it comes to the wigs I do not suggest that I would suggest lathering up the shampoo and just go downward all downward motions take your hand and drench it down but always work your way from the top to the bottom when it comes to washing it don't get vigorous with the wig because it just causes the hair to tangle possibly and you will also lose hair hack number eight comes right after hack number seven when you are done washing your hair and it comes time to dry it of course if you're in a rush and your hair is supposed to be straight like I have this you may want to go ahead and just blow dry it however if you have the time go ahead and let your wig air dry only because heat damage is real just the same way that it damages your natural hair it can also damage a wig which is also natural hair it's not synthetic so to avoid heat damage and just to make your wigs last longer you want to just try to dry them in the air let them air dry you can literally hang your wig on a hanger and let it hang like that somewhere on a doorknob or something like that as a form of drying hack number nine has to do with this item right here i got this at a local beauty supply store it's called brush in color. It could be called anything that you may see. It called at the store really doesn't matter. However, 
sometimes you want your roots to be a darker color let's say your wig is blonde any color at all but you want your roots to be darker because that just has a more natural look but just a uh, long story short with this product it looks like this and you literally take this by the root section of your hair look I'll even do a part now you go like this and you see it becomes a darker color and I brush it so that it ombres out and it's not just like doop doop you know dark then light so you kind of bring it over I was so happy that I found this I wanted my roots to be darker and then it go into a lighter color because that looks a little bit more natural to me now my very last hack which is number 10 is that when you get very 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 tired of your wig and maybe you don't have the funds and you want a new look but you don't have the funds to get a new wig cut it so my suggestion is whenever you buy a wig always go long first always go long this wig is 22 inches and you know when I'm tired of it I may chop some off maybe I'll do a shoulder length hair like a bob and do a really really cute bob or even an asymmetrical bob right that would be so freaking cute and that's how you get <clears throat> that's how you get a lot of styles out of your hair by the time you cut the hair into a cute style give it a new color then give it a style too like some curls you got a whole new wig at the cost of $0.99. You got a new style, a new cut, a new color. But yeah, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below and become a part of my squad and my gang. I'm trying to get my numbers up there. So tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys so much. Please be sure to show me some love. Show me some support. Comment down below anything that you would like to see. Thank you guys. I love you guys. And see y'all next time.